Imagine this. You are boarding American Airlines from O'Hare Airport in Chicago, Orlando International or wherever you live, taking a flight to London Heathrow, where you will get to stay, for free, in England for a week or so, visiting all the top tourist spots in London, having tea at the Ritz and dinner at the Jungle Cave, taking in a show at the West End or a music concert at the O2. And, if that wasn't enough, how about one of the weekends that you are on vacation, you get to have a wonderful weekend staying in a log cabin nestled deep in a forest, whereby you can spend the days lounging in the jacuzzi or in a very hot swimming pool, venturing out to climb and play amongst the trees or a bit of kayaking. Then in the evenings, dine out going all Indian, Italian, Asian, American, French or English. Or if after all the daytime fun, you'd prefer to dine in, Marcus can bring food of your choice to the log cabin, all piping hot and gorgeous. Now you're probably wondering, what has this all got to do with Johnny Depp and a reappeal in the UK? Well, quite a lot actually, and it's going to be amazing. So if you keep on watching you'll soon find out. Hey everyone! How y'all doing today? I hope that you're having a great day so far. I'm Kat and welcome to Cat Chat, Law and More. You are more than welcome to get involved in the discussion and please don't forget that you can also like, subscribe, or comment in the box below. So, if you're ready, let's get cracking on. Right let's talk about Johnny Depp for a moment. I'm going to talk a little about the UK trial but this won't be a rundown of it, but I can discuss the case another time, if you would be interested? Please let me know in the comments box below. JD sued News Group Newspapers and Dan Wooten, for libel after The Sun printed an article claiming that he had abused Amber Heard, and they also criticized his casting in the Fantastic Beasts movies. However, the High Court judge, sitting without a jury, rejected JD's claim after a three-week trial in London in July 2020. Justice Nichols announced later on that Heard's evidence was substantially true. JD did appeal this verdict but was told that it wouldn't make any difference and rejected the request. But what the whole world watched was the defamation jury trial in Virginia where the jury returned a unanimous verdict that Amber Heard did actually defame JD, and showed the world that she was not a victim of DV and everything that she claimed to have happened, did not happen at all. Therefore, these two court verdicts are completely incompatible. Now with two conflicting verdicts, a barrister in England has set up a petition to get a reappeal for the UK trial. I will put the link to the petition in the description box. I'm not sure if a petition will make any difference to requesting a reappeal but, in the UK, the trial was held in the High Court, the one higher to that is the Supreme Court. This court hears appeals from the High Court, but only in exceptional circumstances. But, I think you will agree, that this is an exceptional circumstance. Okay, so this is where the vacation in England comes in. Now this will be for one person, but another lucky person will also be given a little something too. More on that one in just a bit. Okay, so here's the thing. If JD is granted the permission to appeal and is subsequently given one, then the lucky person will be given the opportunity to spend time in England, doing the touristy activities in London and at the log cabin, all courtesy of me. There are no sponsors, advertisers or anyone else is involved in this at all. I'm also not paid by YouTube for any of my content in any capacity. I'm not monetized. Now, if you're thinking, there's no way that cat will be doing that. Then you don't know me at all. Which I'm guessing is pretty much all of you, and there's no disrespect in that whatsoever. The reason I say this is because I do quite a few things off the record, as nice gestures for people, and sometimes they won't even know that it is me that has helped them in some way. Obviously there are a couple of friends and family members that know the extent to which I'm like this but there are very few, and I'd like it to stay that way, in some respect. So enough about that bit. There isn't really a catch to any of this. I would have to go through a few things more thoroughly but I thought that I would give you an idea of what I am planning. And, I am always happy for your feedback and thoughts, so if whatever you think about this, pop your ideas in the comments section. I think there is time to put all of the things into finer details, as a reappeal hasn't even been requested as yet. What I am thinking is that the one person who gets this chance, will need to be available at the time of the reappeal in the UK. It's not necessarily to attend the appeal, although that would be a fantastic idea and I'd jump at the chance if I could. Now, when the US trial was happening, I was glued to the screen watching it, but as everyone else was streaming it, I felt that there was little point in me doing so, however, I did keep family, friends and colleagues updated every few minutes with posts and messages. I think that I drove them crazy by the end of it. But, 
If and when the appeal does take place, I'd like to be in London at the time to report anything and everything I see and hear through a live stream, and while there isn't really a catch, the other person will need to be happy to do the streaming with me. I have already worked out a way on how to choose the lucky person. Although they might not feel so lucky knowing they'd be streaming with me. I'd be on my best behavior though as I wouldn't want to get banned from YouTube, and to be honest, I very rarely swear and curse. But what I can be though, is very forthcoming about what I think. So, if you don't want to hear the truth about what I think, it's probably for the best that you don't ask. Just as a quick example, one of my male friends did ask me once whether I thought he was attractive to women. Well, there was one specific woman he seriously had the hots for. He soon regretted asking me. But I guess he values my opinion as we're still friends after all these years. Right, so I think the best way to select the lucky person would be to ask for nominations. I will go into the finer details in another video, but those nominated will have already covered some or part of the US trial, and would need to be quite passionate about court cases. Now, this leads me on to the second lucky person. Of course I'd appreciate everyone taking the time to nominate another, so someone who has made a nomination will be selected for a special treat too. I'm not 100% sure what that would be as yet. I did think about getting VIP tickets for the vampires, whereby you'd get to meet JD and the others, as well as being front row and given a bit of memorabilia. But having already been on the vampires website for VIP tickets, it looks like they seem to go like hot cakes, and for some of the venues they're as rare as hen's teeth. So we'll have to wait and see. Okay. I just wanted to share with you what I would like to do. But as I've already said, this will only happen if JD is granted his reappeal in the UK. Let's all keep our fingers crossed that Johnny Depp is granted one. He certainly deserves it as the first trial was unjust. I feel that he cannot truly move fully on until he's had this appeal. And, should he get it, we'll be there to support him in any way we can. So, once again let me know your thoughts. And, I would like to sincerely thank you for being here, and have a lovely day.